Today I would like to show you how to make foam brassers that look like they're made out of hammered metal. This was a piece of my Centurion costume for Rory Williams from Doctor Who. Start by measuring your wrist. Mine was 8 inches. Then measure the top of your forearm. Mine came to 11 inches. On my computer I made a pattern and added 2 extra inches on each measurement to allow for the thickness of the foam. You can download my pattern if your arm measurements are similar. Trace your pattern on your foam. Then use a craft knife to cut out your foam. Using a thinner foam, I cut a 1 8 inch foam strip. I used super glue to attach this strip to the top and bottom edge of the brasser to add a small detail. I found it easier to only glue 2 or 3 inches down at a time before gluing the next section. Apply contact cement along the seam where the brasser will come together. And once it is dry, line up and press it together. Once glued together, use your heat gun to heat up the foam and mold them into a rounder shape. I used a Dremel with a grinding stone and sanded the inside edges of the brasser. This allowed my hand to slip in and out easier and take off the square edges. Now to give a hammered metal look, I used the same Dremel bit but moved it up and down creating little circles and divots. After, I used a heat gun to smooth down some of the bigger bumps. I used a leak seal to seal the foam. I applied about three coats, letting it dry in between each coat. To paint my brassers, I used hammered copper as the base coat. I used a few other metallic colors on top to give it some more depth. I was very happy how these brassers turned out, so I decided to make matching shin guards. They used a lot of the same steps, so I am only showing a few of them, and the template is available on our website to download. After cutting out the foam template, I applied a 1 8 inch foam detail around the edge of the shin guards, and I heated them up and folded them in half. To create attachments on the shin guard, I drilled four small holes on each shin guard. I then used a Chicago bolt to attach a small strap of leather. Here's a picture of my whole family in our Doctor Who themed costumes from this year. For more crafts and costume projects, check out simplepracticalbeautiful.com.